Okay, in Power Director 18, with this transition, you're going to find yourself a big tree. When you get the tree, set up your camera and make sure the tree is not in frame. And slowly move your camera to the left, panning, panning by the tree, and then coming out the other side. Now, do that. I don't know three four five times so this way you get it and try to keep your elbows in so this way your camera's not shaking all over the place okay so we'll do it again and like I said move your body not your arms because your body's acting like a tripod and you're trying to get it as smooth as you can and uh, do this I don't know, like I said, three, four, five times. So this way you're probably going to get one that's really, really good. Okay, now that we've taken our video from standing in front of the tree and transitioning, we're going to pick which one we like the best. And the third one I took, I like the best. So we're going to drop that on the second line. Now, I don't want any sound because I'm going to add music. So I'm going to right click on my video and I'm just going to unlink the sound and you'll notice whichever one I click highlights in blue. So I'm going to click the one that highlights in blue, which is the sound and hit my delete key. And now I've removed the sound. Pretty simple. So now I got to figure out where I want this transition to start. And as it comes across and you see the video playing there, you know, I, I don't want the ugly trailer, the house. I want to put something else here. So I'm going to bring this back. And I only want a little bit of the tree shown. So that's a little bit too much there. Back it up. Probably right about there. There's a tiny bit there. See it? And then I'm going to go over here to where it says split timeline. So I'm going to cut my... Uh, video there now this video here the front half which I took the video that I want to transition to is not it's got a little bit of shake to it you see that so I could click that go into fix and enhance and uh, we could simply do a video stabilization here we could crank that up and uh, if I hit apply all it'll do this one too but I don't want to apply all on that you can if you want I'm gonna click the X so now this video is more stabilized. I'm going to click this video, and this is the one I want to transition to, and here's where the work starts. So I'm going to go into Tools, and I'm going to go into Color Director. So now this is loaded into Color Director. You'll see up here we got that little piece showing. I want to click the circle, which allows me to do motion tracking. And then this sets, you know, how big you want it. And you'll notice it shows up there. Here's what that does. And that's it. So right now, I'm going to draw inside this little line here. Try to keep the outside of the circle where you want to cover. And you see that there? So now that's good. Down here, you'll see where it says exposure and brightness. I'm going to crank that down on both. And you can do even more if you want. Basically, I'm just trying to get it black. Now, down here, you're going to see where it says Start Motion Tracking. So let's start that. Now, I like to start it and stop it right away because look what happened here. You see all this here? Now, the outside of my circle, I don't want it on the tree. The outside of my circle, I kind of want to keep it on the inside as I go down. And that's going to get the rest of it black there, as you can see. So again, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to hit Start Motion Tracking again, and I'm going to hit Stop. Everything looks good. I start it, and I stop it. A little bit here. And I'm just trying to, you know, like a coloring book. Start, Stop. Looks good. And I tend to just move it a little bit at a time. And then I try to fill it in, keeping this black all the time. Start, stop. We got a little bit shown here. A little bit over here. Again, we're going to put it on start motion tracking again. Start and stop. 
That was a good fill there. And we got a whole bunch of it showing here. And start and stop again. Everything looks good on that side. Start and stop again. And as we slowly work it to the other side, obviously this thing is kind of buggy because this shouldn't I shouldn't have to keep doing this. This is one of the things that PowerDirector needs to fix. Let's go again. And over here I got some to take off too. Start and stop again. Start and stop again. We're almost done. And there we go. We're all done. So now we're going to go up the top, hit back. And that's going to take us back to Pirate Director. So now let's hit play on the second video that we cut. And it's okay, it's not bad. So now what we can do with this is we're going to double click it or go into the pip designer. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go into my chroma key. Click my eyedropper, put it around the black. And then uh, put it like that. Let's go through it a little bit. And for the heck of it, what I can do is I can just move these dials way over if I want. Add a new key. And basically just keep eye dropper in the heck out of it. Say OK. I need another video, so I guess I'll grab this one, and we're going to put this one on the top line. So what's going to happen, as this transitions in front of the tree, this other video is going to show up as it pulls out. See that? Now what we can do to help with this transitioning a little bit, we could go with tools and power tools and video speed. So tools, power tools, and video speed. And you'll notice the video I'm working on is highlighted in blue there. So if I go in here, I'm going to go into video speed. And what I want to do is basically speed it up. Like it's at two, three minutes right now. I don't know. I'll change that to a two. And then I'll say OK. So now when we move into it, it'll be a little faster and it'll look a little cooler. See that? And we could probably even speed that up a little bit more is what we could do. Now if I want, throw a little music to the bottom. And uh, we're off and running. So let me pull back on this and play the whole thing for you. We scan across. Remember we stabilized that video to make it look somewhat better. Pick up the speed, and now we're into the extra video. And that's how you do a transition from one object into another video. Now you can use this tutorial with a lot of different things from bridges to pillars to buildings. I mean all kinds of different ideas you can play with this. And this is a really cool way to transition over. I even have 
how to do a door video that I did in Pirate Director 17. I'll link over to that one. You guys can check it out and uh, play around with that one a little bit. But here's a quick, cool transition. Go from a tree into a different scene. Maybe go from your vehicle to a different scene. Whatever you choose and how you want to put it together. At any rate, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.